I'm sure we could all use every bit of good news during this time. Uh, on the other hand, I want to hear what are the challenges that the industry is is facing right now? I want to start with uh, with Riyadh this time. Thanks. Uh, in fact, freight, freight and logistics are the main challenges. Uh, together with uh, the limitation in the working of the local authorities, uh, which are working uh, slowly with less employees. So we have uh, delays in receiving uh, the imported seeds and cleaning them from the point of entries and distributing them. Um, as I told you, the local administration is working three days uh, with uh, limited employees. So everything is taking uh, uh, a little bit more. Of course, they are putting more priority for what we call here uh, strategic seeds like cereal seeds. Um, and I think in this case, they are, they, they are doing well. So, but with a lot of delays. Um, the most important uh, dysfunction is um, uh, the registration of new varieties of, on the national catalog uh, and also the uh, protection of the new varieties are, uh, also uh, will uh, maybe be delayed uh, this year due to the fact that uh, it was not possible to make trials or to make the visits to the trials to, uh, to see these uh, these new varieties and to, to control uh, this protection um, due, of course, to the confinement and to, to, to the curfew, I told you, from 6 a.m. to 6 p.m. And also, um, what should be uh, maybe a, a, a concern with the financial uh, situation of the farmers and the slowdown in the financial system in general, this could uh, also affect our activity and our members. So we are having very similar problems in South Africa with the logistic companies and shipping companies. I think the big challenge is that while seed is considered an essential service because it's required for food production, very often the lay person or the average non-agricultural companies don't realize that seed is essential for food production. If they don't see that it is actually... a uh, uh, something that is for food or something that you can eat or something that would have to go into a package for a supermarket, they think it's not an essential product. So our biggest challenge was being able to communicate that seed is, why seed is an essential product or an essential goods, because all farmers needed to make food so that we can keep the supermarkets full. Those was one of our biggest challenges here in South Africa, not to mention, um, we have to still maintain social distancing rules. So even though a company can continue, we have to function with sometimes less than 50% of the staff. Um, and that also made it very uh, more, more difficult, longer. You'd have to employ people over a longer period of time, especially if you have, have them on, um, on farms. So those were the, the two biggest challenges that we've had. At the continental level, uh, one of the biggest challenges is collecting information from the country where there is national, there is no national seed association, such as Ivory Coast, uh, Sierra Leone, the Gambia, and so on, whereas they have also seed sector. So we are trying to, to, to get or to, we have seed association there, but they are kind of dormant, so we try to wake them up. And... Uh, since the situation of the continent is the uh, uh, giving reflection or reflecting uh, the situation of each country, we have a logistical problem in transportation and you know in the, at the port, seaport and airport, they, they operated uh, less efficiently than before during the, due to this context. So uh, those challenges are uh, uh, general. And I would like to mention that uh, since vegetable seed is not all produced in, uh, in Africa, you cannot produce, for instance, carrot or cabbage in uh, sub-Saharan Africa, except in South Africa and Madagascar that uh, has uh, the climate, the required climate. You know, if uh, the importation in Africa from Asia, from Europe or the vegetable seed are not done properly, then it will have a, a uh, negative impact on the uh, health of the population. We know very well 
what is uh, how crucial the vegetable seed in the nutrition. So uh, with the hope that uh, the situation will be normalized soon so that uh, we can keep going and uh, we will uh, continue being to, to be uh, uh, in the same basket, meaning we'll keep the solidarity. As I mentioned a while ago, we try to be in touch very quickly by creating a special WhatsApp group and uh, we'll use any means of communication to give to uh, to give us uh, 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 information and uh, to encourage each other in this difficult time so i'd like to go now to my final question uh today countries are in different phases of the crisis uh what are some of the key takeaways that you had in the last few weeks and and what lessons can you share with our members in other countries. I'd like to start off with Justin. We learn and we share with uh, the National Seed Trade Association, which, uh, which are somehow our ambassador at national level, be proactive and then talk to the seed regulators on a regular basis, exchange information among us so that we can share uh, what were the how did they deal with uh, the, the challenges at their uh, respective country? And uh, finally, we shouldn't lose heart and uh, keep going because uh, we have a noble mission of feeding people, of uh, making sure that uh, every uh, popular, every people in Africa has uh, some food uh, to, to eat on the table on a daily basis. So uh, we still keep that uh, in mind that uh, we uh, play a crucial role and there's no need to uh, capitulate, that we'll uh, fight and strive so that seed is, move, uh, seed is moving uh, in a proper way. Uh, I think uh, now we are, we are at the uh, last uh, 10 days here in Tunisia of confinement. Uh, uh, the the, 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 the follow-up of the communication is key, in fact. Uh, communication with our members especially the communication with the government also with the authorities is very important and even confirm and also communication with the farmers organization and the farmers uh, because it's important to ensure to ensure the solidity and the, in the value chain and of course uh, the food security so i will insist uh, a lot on the communication and the follow-up and to continue the communication to make it clear that the seed is at the origin of of the of, the, of everything uh, of, of life and 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 uh, the, uh, the the origin of agriculture and seed today uh, is food in three or four months. I'd like to echo what Riyadh has said. You know, communication has been absolutely key in us as, a, as uh, in us getting through this lockdown for my members to keep them constantly updated with information, documentation, regulation, templates, um, not just keep them informed, but we also uh, provided a sense of security in very uncertain times. I think over and above communication, it's really been an eye-opener that so many people around the world, in South Africa, around the world, don't make the link between seed and food security. Seed is um, often a forgotten commodity I think, um, I don't know where people suddenly think what farmers have to farm with to produce the food. And I think it's really, really important to reiterate over and over again that seed is food and it's, and it's critical to livelihoods today. Thank you so much, Lukeshni. I, I couldn't have said that better. Um, I'd like to thank everyone for their time and for their insights. I know that everyone's doing their best to keep things going uh, for this very important sector. Um, to those watching, if you have any questions for Justin, Riyadh, or Lukeshni, please send them in the comments and we'll try our best to get back to you. Thanks again and stay safe and healthy, everyone. Bye. 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 Stay safe. And don't forget, see this live. Thank you.